People deluded. Now, I can't speak for everybody, but I think Arsenal should be looking at Julian Brandt. Now, feel free to disagree. Do your thing as Arsenal fans. I respect everyone's opinion. And of course, we all want the star players and these sort of things there at our club. But for me, if we are working with the lower end of these allegedly reported um, transfer budgets, then we've got to look at someone whose allegedly transfer budget is 24 million or so. Um, previously, he's excelled on the wing. This season, I've been impressed with how he's made the transition in the midfield or what I've deemed I've seen this season, playing in a bunch of um, midfield roles. He's played further forward centrally. He's played in a, um, <clears throat> a sort of left-sided central midfielder. And I saw a bit of that against Frankfurt because he was going inside and was dangerous to, to devastate an effect, but he was still pulling out to the left-hand side. But obviously, with guys like him, he's German. He's a youngish sort of German. Doesn't matter if it's him, Hervites, um, what's the young boy I like as well? Um, Hamburg, Julian Arp, Werner, any promise that Gnabry once upon a time, now he's there. All of these promising Germans, they're always going to end up at one club, by Munich. So there's always a pool and there's always links. And to be honest, if they come calling, they're one of them clubs I believe you can't really be saying no to. Added to that, you're seeing Borussia Dortmund are the, uh, are the pack, cha are the pack um, leaders in terms of getting his signature, securing his... Um, his his future at their club allegedly for just over forty million, him and Forgan Hazard. That is great business from them. I believe Julian Brandt ticks all the biz all the boxes, people. And if we can do the business, we should, man. Um, like I said, twenty or so release clause can play on the flanks. Dom devastating on the on the in the midfield. To be fair, um, the only people things can have the only concern people can have is possibly. I don't think so, but a lack of physicality in the Premier League and all of that jazz. But I think playing centrally, he links up well. The, the, his movement is very good. The positions he takes up, everything people say Ozil isn't doing, you kind of see it. If you watch the game against Frankfurt, I haven't finished it, people. It's 6 1 now. I've paused it because I, wanna, I didn't want to lose this feed. Um, great game for the neutrals, not so for Frankfurt, especially concerning for their fans because they're going to play Chelsea after that fixture. So it's a bit mad for them still. But. Um, crazy game that four or five i'm pretty sure maybe even six goals before half time it was a crazy crazy game from the start man another player we'll briefly speak about indica another one i've been watching um can play on the left hand side of center half got subbed off got subbed in the first half um brant was involved in everything man the fifth the, um what was i gonna say yeah man I, that's indica's notes he was involved in everything man just go and look at all of the goals that um leverkusen scored there was one he was in there was a bit of fortune i think kevin volland scored but he played the pass a couple of times the runs he makes off the ball and which i'm calling for in my team he can do that like i said man he'd present the best option because he can play on the flanks he can be utilized in midfield that kind of ticks a box for a winger we need and a sort of midfielder who can build and and looks to make things happen in the final third and connect with other players there's that, so he's obviously got two competencies in regards to playing for us, um, and he's also cut price, so that ties in with the lower end of the budget. I can't speak for everybody, but when I'm screaming for names and players to come to my club, I try. My, I'm only one man, and I have a ninety-five. I, we all need to get paid, but I try my best to make sure I watch that player when I can, so I have an informed opinion. And if you watch Brandt against against Frankfurt for Leverkusen, you'd be saying the same thing. People, he was moving mad, like he was moving mad. A quick little word on Indica. Obviously, he didn't have the best of games. I can't remember what goal it was. I think it was the fifth goal. I was really annoyed with him. It was either the fifth or fourth. Everybody switched off, but he's not trying to get into a recovery position. And I think he could. He's he's, he's rough around edges, but I feel he's someone that can add to Arsenal. And he's definitely better than some of the options we've got. Can play on the left hand side of the centre half. Can fill in that left back. Very good passing range. Good tackle up. At times he switches off, but he, he's not the finished article. Um, he didn't have the best of games playing against the opposition. And you're kind of looking at it. Obviously, if we're not going to have peace people, we've been linked with Fraser, we've been linked with um, Neres. Obviously, allegedly, these are more our targets. That's what the French outlets are reporting. We tried Pepe, but talks with Pepe didn't bang. This is all speculation because of the peace. Obviously, out of all the names I said, I'm taking Neres because he's playing for Ajax. He's doing his thing. I would love Brandt. I would love the both of them. Brandt, I don't even think you should be looking at them as wingers. Brandt should be more looked so in midfield, central sort of midfield. If we can get a him in, a, a Pret, Dennis Pret, I can never say his name, of Sandoria, possibly even Oxford Telemans, depending on how much that is and if we can get involved in Leicester, bring back Bernasia in terms of the budget, then these sort of cut price moves or affordable moves can kind of give us more peas in in. in in theory, to move forward with, for me, if we can sign a 
top quality centre half or someone with the scope to be that. Um, if we can try and address the areas like on the flanks, people. Well, ironically, we're speaking about it, we've touched upon it, but the flanks. If we can bring in a centre half, a central midfielder, there's a case for another right back, like you're seeing with our sort of crisis at, at right back this season. Left back, Monreal getting of age, Cola kicking on a bit. In um, kick Cola, Monreal coming of age. Sorry, Cola divides opinion and he gives us a lot going forward. Um, but not that much defensively. And if he was to get injured, God forbid, touch wood, what happens in regards to that? Right now it's cool because there's Monreal, but things can happen. Things can change very quickly. Um, so yeah, man, we're gonna need to, on top on top of the tactical improvement that needs to be made defensively and all the other things we can sit here and make. We need to be serious in the transfer market, man. How serious we can be in terms of money and stuff, I don't know. I'm just a fan like you lot. Just talking about football. On that note, though, I'm going to get out of your lot's hair and I'm going to keep it stepping. People deluded. I'm out.